Hi, I'm Dr. John Anderson, and I'm a dissertation supervisor. So students will come back in the autumn, hopefully, with a great pile of empirical data that they got to look through. And the first urge, I suppose, is I really want to engage in my analysis. I really want to look at my empirical work. That's a quite legitimate approach to take, but sometimes it's better to begin with the literature, literature review first as the first thing you actually begin writing. Students will have written a partial literature review literature review through their research proposal that they've done before Easter in the spring semester. So students can go back to that and think, okay, now I've got my empirical material in my mind, I know what primary and secondary data I found, how does this fit in with that original literature review that I've probably not looked at since I left for the summer? Is this still the most appropriate literature to look at? Am I still asking questions that this literature review can give a viewpoint on, that can illuminate these particular ideas. So actually going back and redrafting that literature review is often a really good first step to get back into the hang of writing, at the very least, and having a, uh, that initial draft as a stepping stone towards the final draft. We should think about the lit review, we can think about the whole dissertation, because often it's quite a daunting thing for students to think about 12, 13,000 words of a dissertation. I think I've never written something that long before. It's just also, it's, when we think about doing the lit review, it's often think about how does this literature fit into the broad scope that is the whole dissertation. You might consider the dissertation to actually be uh, a coming together of six or seven key chapters. You'll have your introduction, your literature review, your methodology, empirical chapters perhaps around each of your key research questions. So you might have two, perhaps three research chapters, and then you'll have a conclusion. So you might have seven chapters that make up your dissertation. If, for example, the dissertation was approximately 14,000 words, and we did simple maths on that, that would approximately be 2,000 words a chapter. Now, in practice, the dissertation will be shorter than that, and not every chapter will be 2,000 words, but at least it's uh, an understanding of the problem that you're facing. I've got to write seven 2,000 word essays. Students know how to write 2,000 word essays by the time they get to their third year. It takes a little bit of the, the fear factor away from it. So you think, okay, my literature review is probably going to be slightly longer than 2,000 words because I've got so much literature I want to discuss. Your introduction and your conclusion might be slightly shorter. Your methodology might be 1,500, 2,000 words. And then might, you might have three empirical chapters around each question that's 2,000 words each. The, the issue, if we're thinking about it in those terms, is setting up the question about what is each of these mini essays going to be about and how, after we've done them, how can we make them connect together so they're not complete and individual but they form a coherent whole. So for your literature review, the question would be what literatures, if, this, if these are my questions, if this is what my dissertation is about, who's written about this stuff before me? Whose shoulders am I standing on to engage with these issues? What are the key themes and key literatures I have to cover about place, space, power, identity, um, geography, about politics, about a particular paradigms that might help me understand the subject matter? And then those the specifics, the subject matter that you'll be looking at, if you're looking at gypsy and travellers or you're looking at changes in uh, high street retailing, there'll be particular specific literatures that help you look at all those things. How, so student be thinking, how am I going to split up my 2,000, 3,000 words about this subject into, as I would do if I was writing an essay? If the students think about it in those terms, it becomes a far less daunting prospect.